Ever found yourself in a quandary over which erectile dysfunction medication to choose? Tadalafil or Sildenafil? Well, you're not alone. The choice between these two potent drugs can be somewhat perplexing. However, understanding their mechanism of action, effectiveness, and possible side effects can make the decision a lot easier. Diving into the world of PDE5 inhibitors, both Sildenafil and Tadalafil work similarly. They slow down the action of the phosphodiesterase type 5 enzyme in the body, leading to increased blood flow to the penis during arousal. However, these drugs do not heighten sexual desire, they merely aid in achieving a satisfactory erection. It's important to note that the success rate of these medications is not absolute and can be influenced by the severity of erectile dysfunction. When it comes to which drug works faster, both take roughly 30 to 60 minutes to kick in. Sildenafil, also known as generic Viagra, reaches peak concentration in the blood after about an hour, while Tadalafil, or generic Cialis, takes about two hours. However, Sildenafil's effectiveness can be slightly hampered after a large fatty meal, which isn't an issue with Tadalafil. In terms of duration, Tadalafil has a significantly longer effect, lasting up to 36 hours, compared to Sildenafil's 4 to 6 hours. This doesn't mean it increases the desire, but rather, it helps maintain a satisfactory erection when the desire is present. Like all medications, Sildenafil and Tadalafil may have side effects. Generally, both drugs are well tolerated with few severe side effects. Sildenafil users may experience headaches, nausea, flushing, stuffy nose, and occasionally indigestion or dizziness. A blue hue to vision is also a possible side effect, though rare. On the other hand, Tadalafil users may experience muscle aches, flushing, and indigestion. In summary, both Sildenafil and Tadalafil are effective treatments for erectile dysfunction. They operate similarly, but have different durations of action and potential side effects. The choice between the two should be based on individual needs, lifestyle, and how your body responds to each medication. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution, and what works best for one person may not work as well for another. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making a decision.